The White House says administration officials plan to discuss Russia malign activities at the upcoming NATO summit. Kevin Cirilli, Bloomberg's chief Washington correspondent, joins us. Kevin, what can you tell us? Well, Mark, I can tell you that senior administration officials are saying that President Trump will meet one-on-one -on -one with Russia President Vladimir Putin on July 16th in Helsinki, and he will address election meddling, direct quote from senior administration officials who just briefed reporters on a call. And other topics that they will address include arms control, Ukraine, Syria, and election meddling. Now, the U.S. ambassador to Russia, John Huntsman, said, quote, you can't solve problems if you're not talking about them. He went on to to say that the ball is in Russia's court. The president, according to Ambassador Huntsman, believes that now is the time for direct communication with Russia. Now, the president will first be headed to Europe, where he will uh, go to Brussels and meet with NATO allies and uh, representatives from NATO. The president has consistently urged that other nations ought to pay more for their uh, uh, membership in NATO. Uh, U.S. officials saying that they have begun to see that, urging that that is a positive uh, a, a result of, the, of President Trump's policies. But no doubt, all eyes will be on that one-on-one -on -one meeting between President Trump and President Putin. Uh, and after that direct meeting, we are told, then they will meet with their expanded teams for ongoing bilateral talks. So Ambassador John Hutzman saying that, you know, the ball is in Russia's court. What exactly does he mean, Kevin? Well, in terms of a host of different policy uh, situations that could go on, he also said that the president will uh, be meeting uh, with several ambassadors while he is on his trip. And quite frankly, uh, to have the conversation about Russia's involvement in areas like Ukraine. Now, clearly, when you look at the Russia's uh, annexation of Crimea, for example, that has been quite controversial, to put it mildly. The Ambassador Huntsman also noting that the largest delegation from the United States, having recently visited uh, Russia to begin laying the groundwork for this meeting in recent memory, a handful of senators, seven U.S. senators, uh, recently meeting with Russians to begin laying that groundwork. He noted that there has been consistently in the past a quote unquote boom and bust period of reset negotiations uh, dating back as far as the Reagan administration. So it will be interesting to see the type of model that this administration follows with, administration officials on the call, uh, invoking former President Reagan as well as Margaret Thatcher even. So we'll have to wait and see, but new details one-on-one, -on -one, President Trump, President Putin in Helsinki. And finally, Kevin, just to ask as well, you know, I mean, obviously NATO is the pretext for this, but it's quite for sure that in the one-on-one -on -one, the topics will get expanded. Where is it safe to go for President Trump? Well, President Trump will continue, Vani, to uh, make the case that he believes NATO allies should pay their fair share. Uh, quite frankly, we've seen in the past several months as uh, foreign leaders have come to visit the United States uh, and heads of state have met with President Trump. They have all uh, said that they are uh, considering or have already boosted uh, uh, their financial uh, investments to NATO. Uh, it also comes at a time in which the situation in Syria is uh, obviously intensifying. Uh, so the president has several topics, but election meddling is something that he has said, his administration is saying he will address with President Putin.